everybody, it's wager season! Are you not entertained? And y'all already know what that means, man. Big wagers, everybody's playing against each other, and you know, we just got that thing. Tocino got the community lit. Poor Boy Sin got the community lit. Speaking of which, we had a wager last night. Uh, Tice, uh, Poor Boy Sin, he, he tweeted this out, man. Wager versus Fanta happening today in less than three hours. Who you got winning? You still have a chance to stake on who wins. And y'all already know what that is, man. Stake is where, more or less, you stake, you stake who you want to win or who you think is going to win, excuse me, going to win, and then you get some money from it. I mean, that's just how it goes, man. So all you do is do that, and uh, they get some money, you get some money, and it's like it's just like crowdfunding the uh, the wager match. So if they're going to give away $1,000 or whatever, it's a $1,000 prize, you know you help them do it. But if you're trying to get a $1,000 prize, I can't help you with that, but I can help you get $50 because every single Friday we give away $50 in VC Cash App or we give away uh, a copy of a video game. I got to do that. Oh, look, when I get back from the gym, y'all hold me to it, man. Make sure y'all come through to the stream. As soon as the stream hits 100 viewers, uh, we're going to be, we're going to do that giveaway, man. That's number one. Number two, this is the more important one. If we can get this, if we can average 8K views per video this month. We're going to be giving away a next-gen console, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, 500 bucks, or we'll be giving away uh, a laptop. That's on y'all. And last but not least, the bots are down there, man. Please, please pay them no attention, man. Just don't pay them attention. Make sure you ignore them because they're trying to tell y'all that I'm on Telegram and they're trying to tell y'all that I have... Uh, then I got my phone number down there and that's just not the case. And with all that out of the way, man, let's just get right back into the news, bro. Hey, look, poor boy saying he won the wager, what have you. He just said, funniest part about, uh, a funniest part is everybody wanted me to lose again. Fanta, I mean, against Fanta and keep losing. But now that I won, all the silence. Fanta won, it would, I mean, if Fanta won, it would have been more, uh, di more dissing or DS and DS and okay, y'all got it. I ain't gonna lie, man. I mean, I understand, like I said, bro, I understand what you're going through and what you're coming, where you're coming from, man. But I, I don't think anybody really is that deep into it. Like, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, hey, you no, know, it is what it is. I don't even think it's that serious, man. But he also came back and said, and the funniest thing about it is, about wages is, everybody that do watch parties and talk down on who they side betted on never wagered or won't. Shh. Stay in a viewer's place or put your uh, put your uh, put your bread up. I guess is what he's trying to say and play. And all I got to say to that is shut the f up, shut the f up, bro. Are you are bugging. If you think that I'm going to wager on this game, you are bugging. I rock with sin heavily, but it ain't no way I'm wagering. Listen, I'm a network engineer. I got 20 plus years of building networks and maintaining them. I know you. I know none of y'all like that can't do none of the stuff that I can do networking wise on the level that I can do it. I would take the worst person in my chat or in whatever they just don't know nothing about it and I still would not wager you on setting up a Linksys router because you know who can do it the fastest because you just don't never know what happened. My, my luck, I have OBF or something like that, bro. I'm never wagering anything unless it's a Gatorade that I can score more points than this. It's gotta be a sure thing for me, man. But I feel what he's trying to say, man. He's just saying, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, they talk, but they know they're not gonna get into it. But that whole trying to stay in the viewer's place and stuff like that, man, that just rubbed me the wrong way, man. I feel what you're trying to say, but you lost me on that right there, man. That just come off as like, that come off as kind of like elitist or whatever, because I don't want to gamble my hard earned money. Like that, that's just, that's, that's just asinine. But I understand what he's trying to say. I just think he could have said a little bit better than that. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Up now, hey, then we got my boy, uh, he got my daughter better saying, he said, mm-hmm. I say it all the time. Y'all watching us do it for the cheese. Um, What's up, big boy? Y'all watching us do it for the cheese in the field while you're on your couch lurking for a reason. Save your opinions and excuses. Now, I do understand what he's saying. Now, if he, if he said it like that, I got no problem with it. But he said, just save your opinion and excuse. Exactly, bro. If you're not betting, you know it is what it is. I don't have an opinion or an excuse. I'm just not going to bet, not going to play. I'm not going to do any of that. I work too hard for my money. If you want to bet yours, you bet it. And I'm not going to bet mine. What's up, little boy? You ready to go to the gym? Yeah, just. All right, we're going to go to the gym. Daddy, can go to the gym? Yep, we're going to the gym right after this, man. Like I said, that's, that's what my money going to. So I cannot... I can't, I can't gamble my money, but I can't, like, like, why would I gamble my money when I can make money watching y'all gambling y'all's, man? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Cause them things, hey, them breakdowns. Hey man, listen, man, let me understand y'all something. 
this thing right here has made me so much money. So much money. I think I paid $200, $200 for this thing, man. This joint has paid for itself over 10 times over because of, because of me breaking down video and doing stuff like that. So like I said, why, why would I gamble my money when I can watch you gamble yours? and then make money off of you gambling yours, man. So you know how that goes. Speaking of gambling your money, that boy, I'm going my boy Quavo, Quavo, man. I had a great conversation with him today on, on that young Twitter. Uh, he was like, uh, look, uh, Steezo was saying, you know, he asked me to do a $5,000 pot. That was Tassino, and uh, you did it at 8 p.m. Eastern time, whatever, whatever. And uh, you know, he just said he got back late. He trying to do it tonight. Uh, you want to do an 8 p.m. pot? Uh, PST and all that and we all know how that went man uh Steezo won that joint that's another reason why I guess nobody was really saying nothing about the sin thing because they had it very close to the time that Tycino joint went down man and y'all already know who gonna win that battle man not not for nothing but you know what it is man um and and really it's just because of this bro see him play every day you get to see him every day but you don't get to see Tycino and you definitely don't get to see uh, Steezo every day, man. So, you know, it is what it is. That's just how the community is. Scarcity, scarcity creates demand. So the more scarce you are, the more in demand you're going to be. But anyway, Steezo came out, did his thing, used straight kill moves, and uh, this is what we got, man. Hey, Steezo is a god. Hey, he, he came out there and did his thing. Chrissy T says, GZ's the Steezo. A re real one's been known that he's like that. It is what it is, bro. You can't defend him unless you got a lot. Man, I love watching Tycino play. That's what Lego fans said. I do too. Only thing I want Ty to do is just stop passing the ball in the air. If I know that's in his game and I know that has won him tens of thousands in wagers, but I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. If I see Sin and Tycino play again, which I do want to see that because it was great, I want Big Papa Bear Day out there with Sin to make sure that he, that he get it right because that's Mr. Tens of Thousands. And I just want to see Tassino just not try to pass the ball in the air so much and I think that it's going to be a very competitive series and uh seeing just shoot the ball a little bit he gonna win he I think he I think he can edge that out man but uh you know it is what it is. just got to mix it up kind of like Steezo did keep him off balance and uh just like people are playing starting they, they everybody starting to play Sims rim run they be playing Tycino's pass, a pass out. And so, you know, because they done watched y'all play for the last seven years, they know how you play. They be in your stream all day. So, you know, they're going to get acclimated to what you're doing. So, uh, you know, people going to catch up, but y'all just got to stay one head game ahead because, you know, seeing and Tycino is goats, man. It is what it is. Hey, he said, I love watching him play. Hey, he said, this is the one I want to see. This is my boy Joe Knows right there. He, uh, obviously, that is what it is. And this is how it came out. Glenn Wright Street Mint, uh, four, four to one series win. GG's to Tycino. Had to bring a lockdown this time, uh, young Taquan, man. And yeah, he said this time, man, because you know that he'd been sitting out there stewing for three years to play Ticino again. And it was as good as advertised. I'm not going to capulate. Like I said, I hope Ticino 10 too. I heard they're going to play again. I hope Ticino 10 too is as good as advertised, man. I hope this scene come out there, get that win, and that they get game three popping, man. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And somebody going to be like, man, didn't you just say this about sin? Then when you just disagree? Bro, grown people know that the world ain't just black and white. It's gray areas. Even though I don't agree with saying about gambling my bread, I do like him as a player. I do enjoy watching him play. I'm not like y'all children that be like, well, I don't like watching you play, so I don't rock with you at all. Or I ain't gonna, you, he said, he, he offended me when he said gamble your bread. So, uh, so this is how y'all sound right here, right here. He offended me when he said gamble your bread or whatever, so I'm not gonna watch him at all, bro. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Bro, I can disagree with you. Me and Bruno Sim don't agree on anything at all. And that's my best friend in the world almost, you know, on this internet stuff. Me and man, man, we damn sure don't agree on nothing. And that's my best friend on this YouTube type stuff, man. One of me and T barely agree. And that guy, I do, I run through a wall for him. So we don't have to agree on everything for us to be cool. So I don't want nobody sitting there, sitting there saying, Jay Easy talking about you because this, that, no, man, no, no, no. What you need to do, shut the f up. Shut the f up. Grown people have stuff like my homeboy this he he's going to the saints game his wife couldn't go to the saints game so he's gonna go with his cousin they gonna have a break they're gonna break up and, and, and not be married because he can't do something or you know what i'm saying he still want to go to the game and she don't want to go she don't even like football they've been living together for 20 years like come on man stop it bro anyway up next we got my boy with grand man grind the fuck hard he says crazy thing about this wager if steezo uh if steezo admitted for whatever reason he didn't embarrass 
he kept it classy, and I like that. So I, I rock with that, man. And then he also says, like uh, he was telling uh, Quavo, he was like, that boy Steezo still one of the coldest dudes I've ever seen play 2K. I knew early, and any real 2K player will admit it, that boy is different. Just like Sassino different, just like seeing different, man. It is what it is. Hey, that boy Steezo says, talk to me! <laughs> I'm with it, man. That boy EJ is on a losing streak. That boy like my boy uh on my losing streak, but uh, he says I I'm freaking done, bro. I'm serious. No more side bet. That joker lost again. And then last but not least, where we gonna close it out, man? He says uh, thank you. I'm already $550 down. I know I should stop side betting, but I'm gonna put $100 on you tonight. Please don't let me down, brother. And um, unfortunately. He, um, he, uh, he, he didn't, you know, unfortunately, man, uh, he didn't, he didn't win. So that's, that's where we at, man. And, uh, like I said, bro, we want to get up out of here, but we're going to get up out of here on a serious note, man. Like I said, big shout out to everybody that played last night. Fanta, Sin, uh, Chrissy T, Chrissy T a goat, whether y'all know it or not. That dude played multiple positions at a high level. He's like that. Um, and uh, Cezo to God and Taekwon probably gonna end up being better than what we know. Uh, big shout out to all of them, man. But I want y'all to do this for me. If y'all don't do nothing else, put Twitch. Like if you want to, if you want to win the, all you gotta do to get in and all that stuff to win the the 50 bucks and the 500 dollars and the you know the PlayStation and stuff, all that. All you gotta do is comment on the video. And if you don't know what to comment, comment Twitch down there, man. And like I said, bro, lost we lost the real one today. Uh, that Twitch took itself out. I, I sometimes I only think, what must a man be going through to take it to clock itself out, man? It's always sad. It's terrible. Some people be like, "Oh no, nah, you this, you that," because you took yourself out. But you gotta think when you got it all, and when you seemingly have it all, you at the top of your career. You got a beautiful wife, kids, all that good stuff. What must a man be going through if he feel like the only way that he can get some peace is to clock himself out, take yourself off the clock, man. It's tough. Hopefully, he finds peace, and he finally found peace, man. Like I said, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know we don't normally take it out like this, but like I said, man, I mean, the reason that it is is because that cat's my age. He's younger than I am. I'm 40-plus. He had just turned 40. It's, it's tough, man. If mental health is important, man, Get yourself taken care of. Make sure you're talking to people. There's people in this world that love you and need you. And if you can't make it, just take it day by day, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, till next time. Speak.